when Adam Kelly is here in the studio with me, Jonathan Nielsen over in the States on the line there, when Adam first sent me that track, I was overjoyed to receive it because I think it's safe to say you do not hear people on the Isle of Man making this kind of music really at the moment, do you, Adam? No, no. It's just ace to hear it, it really is. And again, may not have happened if it wasn't for those guitar lessons uh, that you had with Jonathan online. And I've just had a message in uh, saying, love this, great sound, song and backing. And I'm an old fogey, but it's music (laughs) with melody and lots of kisses at the end. Uh, I think I know who that is. Uh, But yes, absolutely loving the tune. So it's going down really well. Does beg the question though, Jonathan, with you over there in the States, Adam here in the Isle of Man, What is going to happen next then? What are you going to do with this music? Well, I think next we're just going to continue making songs that we love listening to uh, and hopefully take it into the world. I think that's really just the dream. I don't see any limitation with there being the distance. What about gigs, though? Because, of course, that's that's going to be kind of tricky unless you hook up in some way, shape or form, isn't it? That's true. I think, you know... uh, the, the, our goal like at this time is just to sort of grow a following and once we have a large enough following to do this and people want to hear the music then the gigs will happen and they'll make sense and i'm guessing if you do get to the gigs the production on that suggests that you would you'd need quite you know you'd need a number of musicians with you really to make this work wouldn't you have you got sort of ideas of who you would love to work with if you were able to pull it together absolutely i think there's a there's a list of musicians that I would just love to hire immediately. It would be probably the coolest thing in my life to just be able to call some of my friends up here and be like, come play with us. <laughs> you know, we have this opportunity. Let's do it. Give us an insight then into what it is like over there in Phoenix. Tell us what's what the sort of music scene is like where you are. Sure. So, I mean, Phoenix is a pretty vibrant city. There's about four to five million people living there. Uh, so... We have a pretty good uh, downtown area with a lot of live music, uh, lots of original bands. I would say, you know, stylistically it ranges from everything to like alts and indie punk to more of like what we just recorded. And there's a huge hip hop scene here too that's really vibrant where they're mixing jazz influences with hip hop. So I, I think Phoenix is awesome. There's a lot of life here. Oh, it sounds great. I bet you're itching to get out there, Adam, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> would that be a dream then, would it be, to get over to the States and actually gig this? Yeah, if we could drum up enough enough interest that people actually wanted to come and see us and it was worth me sort of flying over there, that would be insane. And I guess now is the time, though, isn't it, for, for this sort of outfit to work? Because the internet means essentially anything is possible, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah, it's just been it's been in- insane. And the sort of stuff that we're doing isn't the sort of stuff that I would usually write or, you know, that I would th- think to record. So um, this whole thing's been been totally new and it's it's been awesome. Because you have been gigging over here on the Isle of Man for quite some time, haven't you? When did you start? <sighs> Probably through soundcheck when I was about 13, 14. Uh, always just doing mostly covers and that kind of thing. And then graduated to doing the pubs and stuff, uh, but all sort of indie rock sing-along kind of songs so this is just something totally different and something that I'm surprisingly comfortable with and has it now expanded your sort of love of all different genres of music then do you feel like now you've kind of got a, a, a different flavor yeah definitely and just given me that sort of proof that i always saw myself doing the kind of music the the sort of covers that we what i used to do in bands and this has sort of shown me that um especially vocally I was surprised how well suited I was to this more sort of soulful uh, kind of vibe that we're going for so that I'm just really enjoying uh, exploring that. And the beautiful layered harmonies on there as well so did you come up with all of that as well? Yeah so the original recording uh, Jonathan won't mind me saying uh, didn't have any backing or any harmonies or anything like that so that was all me but I love stuff like that I grew up on uh, like the Eagles and the Bee Gees so harmonies are always a big part of my music. Oh, good choices, both. Well, then, Jen, it's been an absolute joy talking to you both. It really has. And thank you for joining us all the way from Phoenix, Jonathan. Just let people know then uh, where they can find you guys and when we might expect some new music from you, Jonathan. Sure. So, I mean, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on TikTok, uh, just Broken Rainbow Music. uh, And then hopefully within the next two to three months, depending on how effective and efficient we can be we'll have another track out 
and Who You Trying to Play is available now, so you can stream that on all the usual sites as well. And we should give a shout out to the artist that created the artwork, Adam, for this as well. Yeah, the lovely Olivia Savage. Uh, she did a great job, and it actually sort of had a hand in the name as well. We were struggling for so long uh, with a name, but I knew I wanted um, Liv to do the artwork. We'd seen her kind of abstract prints and stuff that she'd done, and we knew we wanted that kind of thing. Uh, and then we saw the artwork, and that's where sort of Broken Rainbow came from. It was like, well, we want to stick with this monochrome theme going forward, stick with Liv's prints for, for future songs. Uh, so that's, yeah. That's Aww. where the name came from.